A mock assault was staged in the heavy downpour on Monday afternoon where a combat team was tasked to provide security to lay urban and take control of vital assets. That was the scenario that was laid out for PNG Defence Force personnel in collaboration with the Lay Metropolitan Command and St. John Ambulance. Goldie Barracks Infantry Wing Senior Instructor Lieutenant Daniel Kakawi said the idea was to secure the polling venue during elections. While Monday marked the first day of the PNGDF security urban operations, this is the final week of a four-week training course for sergeants. Okay, the purpose and intent of this exercise is basically to uh, assess the students, especially the sergeants, uh, on their command and control, and how they do up their orders. Uh, they disseminate their orders to their troops. These uh, little sergeants, uh, they, are, they, they, they are the next battle commanders. That's why we have to train them to be in the level of battle commanders. Lieutenant Kakawi said the scenario was set as the elections, considering most of the sergeants will be deployed in next year's national general elections. And at the same time, it, not only us going to be involved in the operations, national elections, it's going to be provincial disasters, police, and as well as other government agencies. Uh, we'll be working together to run the elections next year. So this basic, this basic scenario is basically to bring them the idea of how we normally conduct our operations with other government agencies. During the mock battle, a casualty was carried over to waiting St. John Ambulance staff while a person of interest was apprehended and handed over to police. The troops inserted into the Situm area and conducted a beach assault on Friday with the Morbe Provincial Disaster Office. This was the offensive phase of their security operation. They have conducted their defensive phase as well and will be completing their urban security operations by the end of this week. Salome Vincent, TV1 News.